there might be some applications which does not actually uh, supports the newer version of Windows. And in that case, what you can do is you can run the application under something called compatibility mode so that uh, you know, your system mimics uh, the older version of Windows for the app to be compatible with. So to actually use that, I'm going to use an example. So I'm just going to open up uh, the start menu right here and type in something like FileZilla. So let's say I want to mimic a different Windows environment for this particular application. So for that, I need to right click on the application and then go to uh, open the file location right here. And then you can see the shortcut of the application. So you have to right click on this and then go to properties for this particular application. So over here in the properties, you can see compatibility is an option right here. And let's say you want to enable the compatibility for this particular application, then you have to click on run this program in compatibility mode. And then you can choose the version of Windows you want to simulate. Let's say, for example, you want to simulate Windows Vista or Windows 7. You can choose this accordingly right here. So right here, I chose Windows 7, as you can see. So now it will simulate out the Windows 7 environment. You can also go around and enable and disable these options right here according to your need as well. So let me press, just press apply and once I do that, now what happens is that whenever I run the application, what happens is that this application will run as if it was running in Windows 7. So sometimes what happens is that there might be applications which you might have been using in older version of Windows and as soon as you upgrade it to Windows 11, it might uh, stop not functioning properly. So in that case, what you can do is you can use this compatibility option right here, which ensures that it actually uh, runs in an older Windows environment setting uh, that the app is familiar with. So that is how you can use the compatibility settings inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.